why Roger Federer is tougher than Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic, Robin Soderling. Soderling reached back-to-back -back French Open finals in 2009 and 2010 but failed to win a set, losing to Federer in the first and Nadal in the second. But the Swede, who was forced to retire at the age of 26 due to mononucleosis, mono, reckons that the Swiss World No. 2 was able to inflict more devastating losses. I always had tough matches against Roger, said Soderling, who lost to Federer 16 of the 17 times they met. Playing against Djokovic, Nadal, I could go off the court and feel I played well. But against Roger, he just made me play bad. However, Soderling does believe that Federer would struggle to dominate Djokovic repeatedly, despite outweighing his current Grand Slam tally 19-12. If they are both at the top, I think Novak would beat Roger more times than the opposite, Soderling added. He moved so well, got so many balls back. That's really tough for Roger because he might play too fast, he would panic a little bit. Djokovic was forced to take the second half of 2017 off to deal with an elbow injury. Rival Andy Murray also had injury problems, ending his season after Wimbledon due to a persistent hip problem. But both are expected to be fully fit for the first major of 2018. The Australian Open in January, although Soderling believes Federer can withstand their return to the fray. I wouldn't be surprised if Novak and Andy do well, but I think Federer. When Federer played his best last year, no one could match it. Not even Nadal, Soderling said. Rafa finished the year world no one. But if Roger would have played the clay season he would have finished as no one, 